Hello, beautiful. Today we're going to be looking at the new Kylie Cosmetics A Nightmare on Elm Street collection. I have the entire collection with me, so if you would like to see everything, including swatches and a review, then just keep watching. I love making beauty product review videos for you, and I also love trying out new makeup. So if you're also into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you find that you are enjoying this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below if you have watched the movie and what year did you watch it in, or how old were you when you watched it. This is the limited edition A Nightmare on Elm Street Lip Shine Lacquer Set. It retails for $34 and contains three lip shines in their new formula. They have a creamy and comfortable texture that delivers deep pigment and high shine. The colors are Only a Dream, which is a pink nude, Elm Street, a wild crimson red, and Never Sleep Again, a deep red wine. Lastly, these are clean, vegan, fragrance, and cruelty-free. We're first going to start off with Only a Dream. I think the description of the colors match these shades perfectly. This is simply a pinky nude. It kind of reminds me of Fenty's gloss in cupcake -in. I'm comparing this to Kylie's older gloss in the color Snatched. They honestly feel very similar, however, Kylie's newer glosses texture feels a bit more stiff. It feels less slippery as if it's going to last longer. That's pretty much it. Also, the packaging of her new lip shines feel more luxurious with a heavier weight. Next, I'm trying Elm Street, which is a wild crimson red. It's a vivid bright red color and has a hint of a bluish undertone. I really like the way this color looked in the mirror in natural light versus these artificial lights. The last one is Never Sleep Again. This is a deep red wine and again, the description matches this color perfectly. This is my favorite color of them all. I love this color. I also feel like this color is more unique than the other two and not a color I'd find often. Therefore, out of three of these, I would definitely recommend picking up this color. Hopefully, she'll keep this as a staple product. I feel like on camera, it looks a bit brighter, so I'm showing a cell phone picture in natural light so you can see what it looks like to me. Still, I feel like this color looks a bit deeper in the mirror versus when taking pictures. It just looks brighter when I take a picture of it and I don't know why. These lip shines are a little bit sticky, not much of a bother for me. I'm trying to show the stickiness here by rubbing my lips together. It's definitely creamy and highly pigmented, you can even build up the color. It feels like there's a bit of a lip stain underneath and on top there's a gloss. That's what these lip glosses feel like. Also, these colors are most definitely going to look good on every single skin tone. The next product we're going to try is the Lip and Cheek Jelly Stain in the color Kruger. This retails for $17. This is a versatile water-infused stain that can be used for the lips and cheeks. The jelly texture is meant to give you a natural look with a flush of color. This was truly a unique product. I think the description of it fits very well. I've never used a jelly texture stain before, but I really enjoyed it. It does take a decent amount of time for some color to show. I thought it was going to be a little bit more pigmented. I figure if you apply this to bare skin, you might need less. Also, be aware that this does stain your hands and fingers. So on the website, it's actually recommended to wash your hands immediately after. I'm surprised that it stained my hand, but when I was applying it to my cheeks, um, it took a while to build it up. Overall, I love the way this looked. It has a very strong natural look to it, and I love how I was able to build up the intensity. Yes, you can find other blushes like this of a similar shade, but for some reason, I feel like this blush just looks different. I feel like it'll be hard to achieve this similar look with other blushes. Therefore, I would highly recommend checking this blush stain out. I would even consider getting other colors if she had them. It really is the way that this blush slash stain looks on my skin that makes me consider it truly unique and worth it. Also, this is gonna make an awesome gradient lip color. I can see myself using this daily and popping it on in the center of my lips. 
Now for the eyeshadow. This is the Pressed Powder Palette. It retails for $30, which I feel is reasonably priced, especially because some of these shades are unique. This is a limited edition palette that contains 12 shades in 3 finishes, matte, metallic, and glitter. The colors are meant to be soft, easy to blend, and deliver high pigment. Overall, I really enjoyed this palette. I am more impressed with it than I thought I was going to be, especially after trying the metallic red shade I applied. I realized how truly unique this palette was. I haven't seen a red metallic like this before. Although it wasn't as easy to blend with and work with as I wanted, I think it still looked amazing. I like how I was able to wear a red color without it making me look sick or hurt. The deep green unfortunately did not perform to my liking. I had to swatch it multiple times to build up the color and still it didn't look that great or it didn't look how it looks in the palette. The matte shades tend to be more on the chalkier side and you definitely have to build them up. I love the metallic shades though. They are stunning and can easily be worn in the inner corners of the eyes and for an all over highlight. I would say get this palette for the colors, but not necessarily for the formula. Now onto the false lashes. This is probably my favorite part of the entire collection. These are actually individual lashes. There are four pieces to it, um, and they come on this clear lash band. I never had any desire to get into visual lashes because I always thought they'd be hard and time consuming. However, I'm so happy that Kylie included these because I am now a complete lover of these individual lashes. These are so insanely easy to use. These do take a little bit of time, but I find that I don't have to wait for the glue to dry. Immediately after I applied the glue, I just popped them on and it worked out perfectly. It's also so easy to get it into the lash and fit it on there properly. So overall, for me, they're just so much easier to use than the fuller, longer, uh, false eyelashes. In the end, my lashes ended up looking so natural and voluminous, and I don't think I've ever gotten my lashes to look like this before, so from this experience, I think I'll probably always try to get individual set lashes, and I also love how you can just make the look your own you can just pop them on the ends of your lashes um, you could do a full set like I did honestly I would have only applied three segments of these lashes but because uh, for the sake of this video I wanted to show you how it looks with all of them on that is why I put them all on but I think in the future I'd on I'd only probably put two or three and maybe sometimes just do the ends of my lashes just be careful when removing the lashes because I accidentally tore a piece off and these lashes aren't cheap. All right, so that is the final look. That is it for this video. I I feel like I liked everything in this collection. I wouldn't say like the eyeshadows are outstanding. They have like one or two buttery shades. The metallic, the metallic shades were a little bit diff- well, the red shade was probably, the one that I'm wearing right now is probably the most difficult shadow that I tried on. It was a little patchy, but pretty much all the other shadows are fine. Oh, also that green shade was a little patchy as well and definitely did not come off as pigmented as I thought. So that definitely needs to go over some primer or maybe like a color white based primer to really enhance that color. In love with the lashes they're perfect the lip colors love them as well i also don't think you have to go out of your way to purchase these lip products because they're very similar to lip glosses that you would find at the drugstore i do like the cheek that the cheek product this one was a little bit innovative so i definitely feel like if you are interested in trying this product go for it because i don't think you're gonna find a cheek stain like this anywhere else of course you could get like a similar color but the texture of it the way that it applied and how it blended into the skin is something different something i don't see very often. I really love the color story in this eyeshadow palette. You can have a lot of fun with it. I like the reds in it and yeah, overall I just really like this collection. It's really fun. I also love the packaging and overall I, if I had to like rate this collection, I probably would give it like an A- minus, just because some of the colors in the palettes did not perform how they should have performed. But other than that, everything was pretty neat. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you in another video. Bye!